uh, good morning. I'm very honored to be here to share the, my experience. Uh, thank Kalinda and thank, thank you, Inti and uh, City of Mir, to invite me to, to here. Um, so how to make the, uh, this going on? Yeah, OK. Yeah. Um, if you talk the story of Shenzhen, we need to trade back uh, to the uh, influence of globalization and, and the influence of Hong Kong. So we need to begin uh, from 18th century, uh, because this is uh, uh, the history context uh, of, of Hong Kong and Shenzhen. Uh, uh, this is also uh, the first uh, globalization, um, and at that time, China uh, uh, have different uh, influence uh, from the foreign powers. Uh, so you, you uh, could notice that this is very important uh, geogra geography location uh, because this is the uh, the history of, of polio delta in South China. Uh, and this is the first, uh, this is very important up, uh, note to, uh, to let the, the Western make Eastern. Yeah, so this is the history of the uh, Hong Kong uh, uh, in eight, uh, 19th century. Uh, 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 First, the uh, British get the Hong Kong Island, and then Colum, and then the uh, New Territories. So it built the first boundary between the Hong Kong and Shenzhen. And this is the, uh, uh, the development uh, process of Hong Kong, step by step from uh, Hong Kong Island to Kowloon, and the new town along the uh, uh, the Kowloon Railway, and and some uh, another uh, trans uh, transportation corridor uh, to Hong Kong, and in in eight, uh, uh, late seventies, Hong Kong uh, development uh, economy developed uh, so quickly, and and on an another side, the Shenzhen. It is still the very peaks and very poor uh, 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 countryside, uh, and and because the income between the Hong Kong and Shenzhen in late seventies uh, uh, reached to uh, one hundred times, there's a huge gap. So uh, many people still wait, uh, stealing into Hong Kong. So. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, I can uh, uh, show the the the, uh, uh, the the PPT the uh, uh, step by step. So, everything uh, put together. Uh, uh, in in the at that time, the uh, the mainland China is under the uh, the uh, rule of Mao. Is uh, uh, the the social planned economy, and and when uh, the globalizing capitalism uh, through Hong Kong to the mainland, so uh, 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 yeah, Xiao, uh, Deng, the leader of Deng Xiaoping opened the door and and uh, release uh, the 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 restrict of the uh, labels. So we we have a. Uh, um, about uh, 0.4 billion cheap label, so meet the the uh, uh, globalization. So this is why um, Shenzhen could grow so quickly. There's a strong uh, energy uh, to uh, release to uh, block down. So this is the uh, 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 the, con uh, the bomb the bombing of the city, um, um, and, uh, um, 
and Shenzhen uh, attract some uh, investors from Hong Kong and accept uh, the transformation uh, of, industri uh, of industry from Hong Kong. Uh, um, Shenzhen also uh, introduced uh, the uh, land use system from Hong Kong to to uh, uh, to option the the, the land uh, to get money and, uh, from the land to uh, to invest the infrastructure. Um, Shenzhen also learned from Hong Kong uh, on the uh, statutory plan and. And also the uh, high density, density model uh, is, is learned from Hong Kong. Uh, this is a high density of, uh, <coughs> landscape of Hong Kong and this is Shenzhen, it's the same. So, um, so uh, even this, this, the structure of the Shenzhen is uh, influenced by the uh, the Hong, by Hong Kong's, uh, especially uh, decided by uh, the corridor of the uh, uh, mainland and, and Hong Kong. So uh, this is the, the 80s, uh, uh, Shenzhen uh, began uh, in Luohu, uh, Shokou, and, and Sadojiao. And then when the uh, highway, the, uh, build connect Guangzhou and Hong, Hong Kong. We have a large, uh, a large port in Huanggang. So we build a new central district in Futian. And, in, and then we build the, another corridor, we call the Western Corridor, uh, through the uh, Shenzhen Bay the Bridge to connect Hong Kong. So we have a new developed uh, hot port like uh, Ho Hai. And then uh, we have uh, another uh, uh, new town of Cod along the uh, new uh, railway. And, and the latest uh, 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 new developed area is uh, uh, Qian Hai. It's in the, between the uh, Shenzhen Airport and Hong Kong Airport. Uh, which will connect with the high-speed train. And the next uh, uh, influence is uh, uh, from the uh, top down the urban planning. Um, this is uh, uh, the, the first version of the urban planning in 80, uh, 1982. Uh, um, the, the planning uh, give the structure of the uh, Shenzhen Special Economy Zone uh, as a linear city um, with uh, different cluster, uh, divide or buffered by some uh, green uh, belt. So this is a, 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 very, uh, a, a very flexible uh, uh, structure to allow the, the city develop uh, uh, sustainable. Um, another uh, planning model is uh, uh, um, we call it a group or, or, or cluster development uh, with uh, huge uh, lands to uh, the big company. Like uh, this is uh, uh, for the China Merchant, and this is uh, Nanyo, uh, the, the South oil the company, and this is uh, uh, Shenzhen University, uh, uh, and the uh, high-tech uh, industry park, and this uh, for the uh, OCT, the, the big company. Uh, and this uh, uh, central, uh, the Shenzhen Center in 80s, uh, in 90s, and this is some industry uh, of uh, tax-free uh, area. So uh, this is a, a model to, to uh, let uh, the city get money from big company uh, uh, 
quickly. Um, this is the, uh, yeah, uh, Linda uh, already introduced. This is the, uh, uh, the structure uh, for 2020 abstention. And we also have a uh, structure for uh, 2040, uh, 2030 uh, and 2040. And we have a different, uh, uh, different vision uh, for the, uh, the Shenzhen future. Uh, but uh, if we, uh, uh, but if we uh, review the, the the open planning process, uh, we we could see the uh, each version of the planning uh, is uh, the 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 population uh, estimate. Uh, uh, the population uh, is not uh, uh, matched with, with the uh, reality. Uh, for example, the, uh, in, in the fourth uh, open planning, uh, estimate the uh, one million people uh, in, in 2000, but in fact, we have uh, uh, three, three uh, million people. And in the second version of the master plan, um, uh, f f four, four million people are uh, estimated in 2010, but in fact we have uh, 10 million, more than 10 million people. So uh, the open planning always fails to uh, predict the future, uh, because this is uh, 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 the uh, system problem of the open planning, because the open planning in, sh in China is a, a huge hierarchy system uh, with different level planning uh, from, from big to small, from top to down. Uh, they give the vision, objective, and de development prediction and task distribution. But the, the question, the, the problem always from the, 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 the bottom, from market, from the demands, <coughs> So uh, uh, it, it's not match the, these two systems. And we have another problem is uh, 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 the officers' tenures always five years or, or less than five years. But the open planning always uh, 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 for 10 years or even for 30 years. Uh, 30 years. So uh, each, uh, uh, each officers uh, they want to make their, their own uh, open planning. So when they move, uh, the open planning always ha had to be a change. So this is also the, the problem of the, uh, uh, the limit, limit uh, of, of the open planning. But fortunately, we have another system to balance uh, the, uh, um, uh, the open planning system. We call it the, the uh, Bottom up uh, informali uh, informality. Uh, it means uh, before uh, the the Shenzhen Special Economy Zone established, we have uh, uh, we have natural uh, ridges, uh, yeah, laid out in in this land, and and each villager they have their uh, farm land, uh, but. Uh, uh, in uh, 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 also more and more migrants, people are uh, enter to Shenzhen. They need more uh, cheaper uh, uh, housing, so the village, the open village, build uh, more and more uh, buildings by themselves to provide the cheap uh, 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 housing for the migrant works. This uh, also the. Uh, the landscape of the uh, uh, open bridge, and this is the uh, structure uh, and, and fabric uh, is is very different with the uh, the, the uh, uh, area of uh, of plan. So uh, uh, with high density, yeah, and this is uh, uh, the the, the uh, typology and, and model of the. Uh, 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 open village. Um, 
Um, but if we, we uh, enter to the uh, open village, we could see the, uh, this uh, uh, very uh, dynamic, uh, 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 really uh, organic uh, uh, environment. So uh, we need learning for, uh, from the open village, like uh, the uh, John Friedman visiting uh, uh, Shenzhen's open village and give a uh, very good comment. Um, I've, I think that, uh, we need to learn from the open bridge in this uh, uh, aspect. Like the small piece, a uh, small uh, plot size is affordable for, for people to own uh, and, and build their house. So uh, the people could participate in the, the, the development of the city and, and share the uh, benefit of the city uh, uh, urbanization. And it's an autonomy area and keep the heritage and green space <coughs> as a public space and pedestrian oriented street network and misuse space uh, provide affordable housing and, and creating employment. <laughs> and also uh, this uh, uh, on-site planning uh, and designed by local people and built according to their existing fabric rather than uh, um, as a uh, tabular loss. So this is a different uh, uh, generation of the urban village. This is a, a fourth generation, and this is a second, and this is the third. Um, um, but but we, the urban village still developed to uh, the fourth uh, generation uh, through the torn down, the uh, explosion, and even the, the villagers learned from the uh, a real estate developer to develop, uh, uh, to develop directly uh, called uh, re uh, commercial residences like this. So uh, 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 more and more uh, open bridges torn down and, and made a huge problem on the uh, 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 traffic uh, and uh, and gentrification. So uh, let me uh, talk something little about the future. <laughs> uh, in the future, all, all the uh, polyvalent delta will uh, link together. Um, but uh, in, for Shenzhen, we launch uh, most of the uh, developable land, 90% uh, built already. But Shenzhen still need grabbing more uh, 20. Uh, times land for feeding herself. So we, we need to look for a new the strategy, new model for, for the future of the city. So this is why the, uh, uh, we, we collaborate with INTI uh, uh, through the uh, uh, workshop and we try to get the new the model for Guangmi New Town. Uh, let's say uh, this is a uh, um, I suggest this uh, may be a new uh, uh, model to let the people uh, uh, go up to the new trees and return the land to the nature. So, <laughs> thank you. So. Um, you did a wonderful, you stayed very well in time. And you, still, <laughs> and you, and you brought I hope that you uh, understand. It's fan a fantastic <laughs> overview English. of the <laughs> history and development of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Shenzhen and, and of urban planning in uh, Shenzhen. What really struck me, if uh, Linda said the figure, and you as well, 50% of people in Shenzhen live in illegally in, inf yes. in informal villages. Mm -hmm. And that's 50% is a huge amount mm -hmm. in a top-down planned environment mm -hmm. um, to actually happen. So I'm really interested how this happens. That it, and ultimately, you see uh, buildings that you can almost not call villages that are whole towns by themselves, developed by citizens. How does that come about if it is all top-down planning? Yeah, I think that uh, the, the top-down urban planning uh, ignore the, the demand of the uh, uh, low-class people, because uh, the uh, Chinese o urban planning uh, theory based on the uh, uh, modern urban planning and also uh, 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 from the, uh, the planning economy system. Uh, so they, they, they are supposed 
uh, most of the people is the same, is the uh, 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 middle class. So they, they ignore to plan and provide the land for the lower class, for the affordable house. So this uh, uh, why the, the, uh, they, they, they leak the space for the local. They allow it. The, yeah. They actually allow mm. it. And what you've, you said very clearly, and it's part also of your practice, to say we have to learn from these informal villages and learn also the qualities and the strengths. Um, I think we will talk later about how you, how you do that, actually, in your own practice. Thank you for now, yeah, or yeah. we will call you back to the mm -hmm. chairs mm -hmm. uh, later on. Um, thank you, Hong Wei Wen. Please, an applause.